What's going on, y'all boys? Welcome back to another video. The mid-season patch for Multiverses is coming out extremely soon. It is an update that I've been very excited about. I've honestly just been slugging around posts and videos just waiting for the update. I cannot wait. I think they're actually going to fix the game in some ways. However, don't get too excited, man. I don't think they're going to change it too much. Let's talk about what I genuinely do believe they are going to change in this mid-season patch. First of all, let's talk about the nerfs. There is a lot of characters in this game that need nerfs right now, but I don't think they're all going to get nerfs i think multiverse is going to be extremely conservative with the characters that they actually do nerf and there's only going to be a few first of all i think that they're going to nerf joker they're going to do one of two things they're going to either nerf the uh frequency of the kill card well that's actually that's one of two things that they're going to do and why can i not throw it? okay it's, it has to be on the ground there we go they're going to nerf the frequency of the big one that explodes and kills at low percentages and they're going to either nerf the range of his jab so that it doesn't pull in and still give you 70 damage combos when you're this far away or they're going to reduce some of the hit stun that his moves provide so that you can't get 70 damage combos with joker anymore this character is extremely balanced in twos the problem really is ones he's absolutely ridiculous in ones and i think that they noticed that and they are probably going to nerf this guy down a little bit because he is by far the best character in the entire game hands down right now Next up, I do believe that they're going to nerf Samurai Jack. Now look, I think there is a lot more characters in the game right now that need a nerf far more than this guy. However, as he is a new character, all eyes are on him right now. This is probably the most popular character in the entire game. I'm sure a lot of you guys play ranked and you run into Samurai Jacks back to back to back to back. There are so many Samurai Jacks right now. Multiverses definitely notices that. And the fact that this guy can only be obtained through the battle pass makes it inexcusable for him to be this high tier of a character. So I believe they are going to nerf Samurai Jack. And once again, they're probably going to do one of two things. They are either one, going to nerf his jab a little bit, or two, they are going to make his side special not broken. Hopefully, they do both of those things, or they just nerf his side special to the ground so this isn't such a two-dimensional character, and then this character will be pretty balanced. I was going to say Black Adam here, and I do think that this guy desperately needs a nerf. However, I think that he is going to get away with robbery as Multiverses doesn't really monitor high-level gameplay. They don't really understand how broken this guy truly is right now. I think instead, they are more focused on making the game enjoyable for casual players, which is why instead of black adam i do believe that they are probably going to nerf finn the human man even though his combos are not true like they're not actual zero to deaths you can di out of a lot of them i think multiverses fully understands that a lot of casual players do not know that and they are not having fun with the game right now thanks to this character so what they're gonna do is probably just get rid of the knockback on his neutral air so that finn does not head towards the direction in which he hits them and uh yeah i don't think they're gonna allow his zero to deaths to go on anymore especially with ranked mode a lot of people are complaining right now and finn is a top tier regardless he's definitely top five in the game regardless of being able to di out of those combos and you can still catch some high level players in those combos so i do think that they are going to get rid of them once and for all next up let's talk buffs if you go play ranked mode with velma right now you will immediately be the number 800th velma now here's the reason why i am hesitant to say that they are going to buff this character obviously multiverses is a business they are trying their best to make money them buffing or nerfing velma does not change how many people play this game they could make velma uh, a mid-tier character a high upper tier character and the game's player count is not going to stagnate at all regardless of how good they make this character she is still going to be one of the least popular in the entire game because it's velma we can see a similar effect with stripe and gizmo they've been very good they've been mid tiers and still no one will play the characters because no one cares about the characters that's just the nature of fighting games if you have a very ugly nasty character people are not going to use them and velma is one of those characters no one cares about velma no one cares about scooby-doo shaggy is an exception because everyone loves shaggy i think jake the dog is probably going to see a pretty significant rework in this coming update i think what they're gonna do is nerf the bite down a little bit thanks to the number one jake being a total bite spammer just spitting people People off the side of the map their last update they tried to make jake a more well-rounded character literally stating that we want to make jake more well-rounded and not as much of a bite spammer and they did not achieve their goal at all and i think that they are going to go back and try to achieve their goal once again so i do think that we can expect a pretty significant jake rework 
and now we got the curveball. So what I want you to do here is take one of these characters, Wonder Woman, Taz, Tom and Jerry, Steven Universe, any of the top tier characters in the game right now, Gizmo, any of them, take one of them. They are going to buff one of them. Why? I don't know. They do it every single update. It's multiverse's brain. It's something that they do. Expect them to buff one of the top tiers. I promise you. Now, I can't believe I overlooked this until this far in the video, but this is something that they can no longer ignore. There is so many characters in the game right now with absolutely disrespectfully toxic, just broken loops like this right here. 36 damage. There you go. I can think of like, I mean, well, it's not even about what I can think of. I can do multiple of these loops without even using the character. So it's like, okay, maybe not this one because I don't have the bind set to uh to jerry shot with my left bumper but i can do these loops and i don't use these characters literally anyone with even half a brain cell can do these loops so the fact that so many characters still have them is ridiculous and there is no way multiverses overlooks that and doesn't remove these loops if they do i i no respect for this game absolutely lost all my respect for multiverses if they can't d deduce that these loops are a problem and get rid of them this update because it has been months now and now let's talk about ranked mode there has not been a single person who has been enjoying ranked mode since the release of it no one is liking ranked mode right now and multiverses is one of those companies say what you want about them play pay first games say what you want about multiverses they are one of few gaming companies that actually listen to people and is that for better or for worse i would almost argue it's a bad thing after seeing what they do after seeing them listen to their community i've started to realize that people like me have no idea what we're talking about but multiverses does tend to listen to their community and that being said so many people are complaining about ranked mode right now so many bronze and gold players are being matched with master level players and making reddit posts and reaching out in the discord and complaining about these things that i genuinely do believe that for the first time this is going to be a change for the better and i do think that the entire ranked mode system is going to be reworked i think that it will be optional to run back the set I think that the RP system will be fixed. I think that the matchmaking will be a little better so that gold people won't play against master people. I think that the ranked mode all in general is going to get reworked. You're probably, if you can hit masters on another character, your base level will probably become diamond or platinum. And maybe my expectations are a little high here, but I genuinely do believe that they are not going to ignore the shouts of people saying that ranked mode needs to become better. Last but not least, I have two things. First of all, they're going to add one more stage to the game, maybe even the water tower. Oh, that wasn't in the game on purpose. No, nah, they're going to add a new stage to the game, and then they're going to put that official multiverse seal on it by changing the background right here to whatever that stage is to make you feel like it's a fresh update, when in reality, is it all that different? I guess we'll have to see about that. But that is my uh, predicted patch notes. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know what you disagree on, and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We are trying to hit 10k i'll see y'all later man